What's up, guys? I'm at SEMA. When you come to SEMA, you see incredible things. Something caught my eye, and Steve here is going to tell you all about it. So introduce yourself to the world. Hey, guys. I'm Steve Cristini, uh, founder and inventor of Cristini all-wheel drive motorcycles and bicycles. Give you a little background here. We're, we've got uh, one of our production all-wheel drive motorcycles here. We first came out with the technology in the bicycle world quite a few years ago, which we're now doing those again as fat tire bikes, so you can check that out later. But here we have one of our all-wheel drive motorcycles, and what it is is essentially a shaft drive system. It's a positive traction system that runs off the rear wheel speed of the bike through a shaft drive system through the motorcycle to the front wheel. So anytime you get rear wheel slip, it'll transfer power to the front. It works just like the original Audi Quattro and rally cars back in the day where we run a ratio so that the uh, speed of the rear wheel only transfers power when you lose traction. Four wheel drive implies a locked system, whereas all wheel drive implies a smart system. So that's why we call it, you know, the Christini two wheel drive, our all wheel drive instead of two wheel drive. Now nice. the, the technology, again, isn't anything revolutionary from the way that it works. It's revolutionary the way that we package the system. It's actually inside the bike, so you can't really see it. Here we have a, a, you know, basically this is a production bike. We make them in Philadelphia, PA. We're the only U.S. off-road motorcycle brand. They have um, all the manufacturing codes and DOT stuff. The drive system runs normal rear drive to the back of the bike, but we have a chain system that goes up underneath this chain cover. So this is where everything starts, right, right here. This is exactly where everything starts Now there. inside underneath this tank, there is a gearbox. And uh, I don't know if we can zoom in in here because we got some breakaways. There's a gearbox underneath the seat. It has a drive shaft that runs up into the head tube. It's so, inside the frame here. Yeah, it goes right in between the twin spars. Here's a little like blow up oh, of it yeah. inside the head tube. So it works like everybody's familiar with like a, they have Penta drive on a boat where you have one, two propellers that counter rotate. Gotcha. And that's actually really important because the drive shafts come down and into the triple clamps where you can see this here. This is in here, right? Yeah, there's two counter rotating oh, drive wow. shafts. There's two, I didn't even notice that yeah, when I first so walked by. Two drive shafts and that's critical. That's what, um, you know, the, the Olin's people didn't do. There was a hydraulic drive system, both KTM and BMW licensed. Mm -hmm. But after that, had a lot of failures, they pulled us in. So we did development with KTM and some of the other companies for a while. Nice. Um, the drive shafts spin, they go down. This is a telescoping shaft. So this will telescope all the way up into the top of the... Um, so we have 12 inches suspension travel. 12 inches, nice. Yeah, the drive system comes down into the, the axle clamps. And then we have inside here are those one-way clutching mechanisms. And that's where we get back to the old school rally car stuff where the ratio we run is 65%. So if you have both wheels spin over the same surface, the drive system's going, but the drive shaft goes slower. So the front is just freewheel. So it's much like a bicycle pedaling, yeah. but until you put power in. So your all rear wheel drive, as soon as the rear slips, engages the front. You climb the hill, as soon as you regain traction, it releases automatically. Nice. It's very seamless, and then off it goes. So the power loss is very little. It only adds 14 pounds to the total weight of the bike. Um, when it's in an idle mode, which is a lot of the time, it's only a tenth of a horsepower loss. Yeah. And when it's um, engaged, you're actually delivering all the horsepower to the, to the base in nice. the ground. So. so some of the specs on this specific bike now, too. Yeah. Um, so Motor-wise, what are you running yeah, in here? It's a CRF 450X motor. Base. Honda motor. Yeah, oh, awesome. it's got a, um, our own fuel injection system. All right, so we, um, we developed that so we could pass... Uh, California Carb, which we did last year, was a big deal. So this is a 50 state street legal. So you got the blinkers, the lights, all that good stuff. Yeah, you got all the good stuff. You know, we got um, you know all the standard. So for, for the so for the adventure bike market, yeah, they're gonna like that because you could use this as an awesome adventure yeah, bike. Is, we kind of call this an eighty twenty. It's really an off road bike with the plate, and that's become so critical all yeah. over you know all over the U S. Um, so this bike is perfectly legal for all the street use as well as any trail use. It's sanctioned for for any kind of country. What about um? So when you're on the road, you can disengage it though completely, yeah, we right? Do have, um, we do have a shift on the fly little button here. I didn't mention that, but it's just a mechanical spline mechanism that's inside here. So when you have it disengaged, it actually completely renders the whole thing. Is that mechanical or electronic? It's mechanical. Oh, mechanical. Yeah. Okay. There's a mechanical. Uh, it's just a spline that pops in and out. You okay. can hear it clicking there. Yeah. Um, but you can engage 
up to about 20 miles an hour, much like on a four-wheel drive truck, and then yeah. disengage at any speed. Nice. Like once you're off-road, I mean, you just leave it on. It's mm -hmm. People think the biggest surprise people have is how not different it is. They're thinking it's going to do really weird things. And I say, well, you get in an oil drop car and it feels like a car. Mm -hmm. This is the same. It's got all kinds of normal traction, normal control, but the second you lose traction, and all of a sudden it's doing things that yeah. you shouldn't be able to do. That's what I mean. That's so, amazing. you know, one thing that we just mentioned, I mean, this, we, we've been around for a while, but we were an R&D company for the big guys for a while. We launched our own brand in 2013, and since then, we've, we've raced in eight years of um, X Games, Enduro Cross, successful internationally in a lot of races. And now we're doing a lot of um, supply to the military. So we supply uh, special ops, Navy SEALs, um, U.S. Air Force, wow. uh, U.K. special ops, um, Jordan and UAE. Wow. And now we're talking to some others, um, Norwegian, Irish, and also some South American. Because the bike is so easy to ride, you don't even need to know how to ride a dirt bike to get on it and do a technical hill climb. We actually are, we, we geek out at back in the shop, I always call it and tell the guys we're doing science projects. So we have <laughs> we have two other things, we're doing a track system, a two-track system, you might okay. be familiar with the um, timber sleds and things like that with the rear snow tracks. Oh yeah, yeah. We've got a front track and a rear track, oh, so it's wow. a two-track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're also doing along the military lines, we're working on a hybrid electric, all-wheel drive uh, motorcycle that'll run on electric. Nice. The JP8 rotary engine will be a charging station, so it'll be a gen set. Wow. So you'll be able to, for military, do uh, four positions and be able to charge all the stuff, your satellite phones or your drones that's and all that. So cool. that's, that's something we've been working on too, and that's what that, you know, it'll be about a year or so out. But. I wish, because I'm a gun guy at heart, yeah. I wish you had the special forces set up here. Yeah, That know, would have been awesome. All, yeah, we have, yeah. <laughs> we got some pretty cool, um, now, this we is that kind of get, picture of it, right? Yeah, we get our. This is all the high ground uh, Molly kits that we get made in uh, actually Philadelphia. They make all the stuff for Boeing and a lot of special ops gear. Yeah. So they design a. We have a, a covering system for not just this bike but other bikes, and we're actually doing stuff for ATVs and side by side. So nice. it's it's actually um, you know mil spec certified Molly system. You can strap all your guns and everything on. Nice. And we do have like gun mounts and different things on those bikes. So. Very cool, man. Yeah, that that the only gun thing on here is this, this cover is actually done by a company that does Cerakote. Oh. The Cerakote <laughs> porcelain coating, they do it for, you know, the gun handles and stuff. So this nice, is, um, nice. But, um, yeah, cool. this is our street legal. So, I mean, uh, you got to check it out. The, the off-road versions for the military is basically just got every bell and whistle you can do. Very, very cool. Well, um, Let's end this video with uh, information so people yeah. can find more information on it. Great, great. So um, we're based in Philadelphia. Our website's Christini.com, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-I. -I. Um, our Facebook's Christini AWD. There's a lot of pictures and stuff, and you can find the other stuff, too. If you just Google that, you're going to find it. Now, as far as getting the bikes, we do have a pretty sparse dealer network. We're kind of growing that. Um, where we have dealers, we go through those. But if you're in an area and you're interested, we, we can ship direct. For all the off-road, the street legal, we work through different dealers to license them. So, you know, if you, you've probably never seen it, and if you want to check it out, we try to get around. But, I mean, you can still get a bike anywhere and anywhere in the world. We do ship over. I was just going to ask, is there a place where guys can test ride these and really well, get a feel yeah, for it? Near Philly, yeah. And then we do actually have um, we have some various dealers in um, in California. We've got Matopia. I know a lot of people from the show are from that area. Because I'm just trying to think myself, because I'm here in Vegas. Yeah. If, I, if I drove to California, could I ever try one yeah, of these? Yeah, a lot out? of our dealers, as part of the agreement, they, if they become a dealer, they always we, we only make them carry one demo and then oh, have like one floor model. Whereas a lot of a lot of brands will make them have a huge floor thing, but yeah. our bikes are so unique. People want to try it. Yeah. Um, but and we do try to do demo days here and there. It's so not okay. as not as frequent. Well, I'll have to keep in touch with you so you can tell me when a demo day is coming, yeah, yeah, so I can film sure. that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Well, I, I appreciate Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Awesome. All right. Awesome bike.